At approximately 4.15 a.m. Monday morning, the last Soufre volcano in St. Vincent recorded its largest eruption since the first active explosive eruption, which occurred on Friday 9th April. Monday's eruption generated pyroclastic density currents, PDCs, which are considered to be extremely hazardous to all life in local areas. Director at the UE Seismic Research Center, Dr. Irusula Joseph, speaking on GBN's To The Point program, explained the difference between Monday morning's eruption and previous ones. But what happened this morning was um, more of a pillion type eruption where it generated not just an ash column, but it generated pyroclastic flows. And these are the PDCs that we're sp speaking about, the, the pyroclastic flow and surges. So this is hot gas and ash and ballistics that have flowed down the flanks of the volcano, predominantly on the south side and the southwestern side. PDCs are fast-moving, ground-hugging currents of hot gas and volcanic matter, which can travel to speeds of hundreds of meters per second. She said the volcano's activity is comparable to the 1902 eruption, which resulted in the death of over 1,600 people. The, the type of activity we're seeing now is similar to the 1902 eruption, with, but um, but I think that what is happening now is that there's a lot more ash than was seen then, and and of course ash affecting you know the south southern part of the island. So, in terms of what can happen next, more of the same type. It could be of the same type of uh, activity that we have we have already been seeing. This continue this can continue to happen in the next in the coming days to weeks. While the situation in St. Vincent continues to develop, Dr. Joseph said there is no need for Grenadians to be alarmed about the possible effects of the last Soufre eruptions on nearby volcanoes. Just to, to reiterate that, that this volcanic um, system the, of La Soufre is not connected in any way to Kikam Jenny. Um, there's a lot of misinformation being shared and we encourage people to follow the official sources of information for correct information and, and not to share misinformation without verifying from the original sources. According to St. Vincent's National Emergency Management Organization, the La Soufre volcano continues to erupt and explosions and accompanying ashfall of similar or larger magnitude are likely to continue to occur over the next few days. Trelana Charles, GBN News.